Julie. Welcome back to Live and Large on Lifetime. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday, and thank you so much, Jennifer Shea. That was the coolest and the cutest intro. That was so adorable. Jennifer said she is on February break with her kids. They had some extra time, so I don't know how much time that took, but that was amazing, and I love that you made my hair longer and blonder. Thank you so much. You guys, I'm having so much fun introducing my viewers to you, my viewers. I hope you guys are having fun with this. If you want to do an intro video for me, please send it my way because I can't tell you how fun it is to really like see you guys like um, in living color and moving and talking and stuff. It's just been really fun. I love connecting with you guys and I love seeing you. Um, so please send your videos my way. You can send them to my email address, which is down below. Um, or if you uh, try my email address first, if that doesn't work, we can make other arrangements. So um, just introduce yourself, say hello, and then introduce the channel. It's that easy. Thank you so much, Jennifer. That was so Cute. It is Saturday morning and surprise, no walk for me this morning. So I am gonna miss out on a whole lot of steps today, but that's okay because I got to sleep in one blissful extra hour. And I'm also wearing a dress today, so I didn't have to walk to work in a dress. So that's good. So just finished with the Weight Watchers meeting, another awesome meeting as always. I can't tell you guys enough how fun it is to celebrate with someone a one pound loss, a four tenths pound loss, a 10 pound loss. People are, I don't know what the total weight loss was for this meeting this week, but it's so, it's just so cool to celebrate with someone, especially someone who um, has been really down and um, doesn't know what to do and now they're on the right track and they're losing or someone who's had a miserable week, a challenging week and um, they thought they were gonna be up and they lost. It's just so fun to see people um, eating healthy, being healthy, moving healthy, and seeing the payoff, seeing their bodies respond positively to that. Because you know what, if I can do it, everyone else can do it. All those people in that meeting can do it. You guys can do it. It's really just trusting the program and following the program. And I know that's way easier said than done because, um, yeah, but it's possible. I have to tell you guys, every time I think I'm totally going to swear off of... Weight Watchers products, not because they're not good, but because I can't just have one. Every time I think I'm gonna swear off, they come out with something so good. These are so good, so good, you guys. Um, the protein bars I liked, but uh, it's not something that I would eat like massive amounts of. Holy crap, these are so good. Um, these are baked protein flavored mini bars chocolate peanut butter flavor six amazing layers and they are amazing there's like a crispy something in there i don't know but it's three smart points per bar i had to get some because i was going to get some before i actually tasted them because they looked amazing and someone in the meeting bought them before the meeting and then had one and said they were amazing so i knew i was going to get some and then my leader got some and she shared one and I shared my one bar with the three receptionists. So I had a third of a bar, a third of a bar is one smart point, and a full bar is three smart points and would totally be worth it. Totally. Like the next time I go to Ghirardelli, I should bring that, because that will keep me out of Ghirardelli. Um, one thing I want to tell you guys, um, the last time I had the chocolate raspberry bars and I ate crazy amounts of chocolate raspberry bars and my stomach was like cramping and horrible. Ugh. I thought it was from um, sugar alcohols because that will do that. I have a really strong stomach, but sugar alcohols, <laughs> the, my stomach doesn't like sugar alcohols. I thought in the chocolate raspberry bars there were sugar alcohols. There's not a one. No fake sugar at all. But what I did find out is my leader said um, there's a fiber that they put in some of the bars that um, bothers her stomach and it's called inulin, I think. Um, so that is what I checked the chocolate raspberry bar. That is what in, is in the chocolate raspberry bar that was bothering my stomach 
from having five. I mean, if you guys are not eating five at a time, it's not going to be a problem for you. One is no problem. Um, but the ingredient is inulin. So if your stomach is sensitive, maybe watch for that. Um, so inulin is in the chocolate raspberry bars. One at a time, guys. And these... They're so amazing, but they have both sorbitol and maltitol. If you are sensitive to sugar alcohols, be careful. I feel like I want to write in big uh, Sharpie on this box, sorbitol, maltitol, beware. So that <laughs> when it's like 11 o'clock at night and I feel like I need to have five, then maybe that'll stop me. Maybe one would do it. So anyway, um, the reason I did not walk to work this morning is because we need to go to a funeral. Eddie and his mom are actually at the funeral. Um, Eddie's uncle passed away. Um, so I need to head over there now and I'm just waiting for the address. I think he just texted me and said they're still at the funeral. I thought they would be done with the funeral by now. So um, anyway, it looks like I'm going to head over there now. I will... Maybe I'll show you my outfit when I get out. I have so many layers on right now um, because I'm wearing a dress. I'm wearing full boots. I think this probably looks cuter with booties, but I'm like, nah, I need the stuff on my legs. So I've got uh, long socks on, my full black boots, a dress. I have a shirt. It's a gray workout shirt on and it's long sleeve and it's under the dress. And it looks pretty silly on the sleeves because the dress is short sleeve and the workout shirt is long sleeve. But then I have um, a sweater on. It's like a long sweater coat. Ah, uh, that one. Um, a long sweater coat. Uh, it's not really a coat. It's a long sweater with a hood on over that. So you can't really see the sleeves. And then I've got this really light um, trench coaty thing on over that. And then I've got a scarf on. <laughs> the same scarf I keep wearing. Um, but the meeting room was, they always have a problem with the air in there. And so when we first got there, it was like 50 something. So I literally left this whole ensemble on for like the first hour. And then I finally warmed up a little bit enough to take off the coat and the scarf. So anyway, I am probably going to go to Kohl's today and look around for a jacket. So fingers crossed, I find something I want it to be cute, but I have to remember functionality too. So, I mean, I don't, it's dumb to buy another jacket. I have several jackets. It's dumb to buy another jacket because it's cute and then decide I'm going to wear it and freeze my bum off. So I need to think practicality. Anyway, I'm going to look up the address for the funeral, head over there. Um, I'm obviously apparently not intermittent fasting because I had to have, I needed, needed to sample. It was part of my job. I needed to sample for the good of the Weight Watchers community, that protein bar. I have done my duty. Go buy them. Um, so I did have my grande Americano with one tablespoon of fat free half and half for zero smart points and one Weight Watchers Cafe Creations Mucho Mocha for zero smart points. Then I had a third of the protein, I don't, oh, chocolate peanut butter baked protein bar, one third of it for one smart point. So that's where I'm at for today so far. It is Saturday and I really just want to let loose eat what I want to eat, drink what I want to drink, and I'm trying to hold back and get one more blue dot for the week because tomorrow I will be spending some time at home um, relaxing and getting things done. And um, when I do that, I, especially on a weekend, I really like to just enjoy some free flowing wine. So tomorrow is probably gonna be my extra wine day for the weekend and if I can manage only one day of going over the blue dot one day on the weekend even that would be amazing that would be so amazing for me four blue dots in a row right now is amazing for me so I want to make it one more just one more so today I'm trying to be really careful so really even eating that one point <laughs> Um, one unplanned point is like totally out of the norm for me, even on a weekend morning, because weekend mornings, I try to still be really like on track because I save everything for the evening. 
So um, I have to be really careful still. So um, anyway, all I've had so far is one smart point. Um, I'm planning to have the most amazing poke bowl tonight. I can't wait. Um, I looked up the restaurant already. It's a new one that I want to try and the poke bowl looks amazing. So I can't wait to have that, but it's all zero points. So unless they have some crazy ingredient or some weird sauce, um, I'm tracking zero points for that. So um, then it will just be my Bellini and some um, half and half sangria tonight is in my plan. So um, the rest of my day really needs to be zero smart point foods. So that's my plan and um, I'll see you guys in a while. Okay, it's 2.12 and the funeral lunch is over. I successfully avoided disaster and it was hard. When I first got there, tacos and enchiladas and tortilla chips and brownies and all kinds of good stuff. Then they brought out the Jameson honey whiskey, which I'm not a whiskey person anyway, um, but I did have like a millimeter to taste it and the honey flavor is really good. But with that came wine and I didn't, I didn't have any wine. I was fine on the food until at the very end we were actually standing there by the food saying goodbyes and I looked down and I saw the tacos and the enchiladas and the brownies and I was like, please, I just want to be able to eat some. But I didn't and I just walked away and I remembered, uh, I did, I'm very glad I made my teamy tea this morning because I brought my tea with me into um, this luncheon and um, if there was going to be zero point food I was going to eat it but the only thing that came even remotely close was refried beans and I'm pretty sure that they had oil in them oh, so free. doubt it although I did notice at the end that they had sugar-free desserts so I mean that's good but it's, it still would have added up but I was like okay if anything, I was actually going to maybe have a glass of wine and I was like, okay, at least drink your tea first before you start with anything. So I'm actually almost done with my tea right now, not completely done and you know, eventually I just, it just, it was really hard this time, I don't know why. Um, but anyway, now we have some errands to do and um, I am kind of starting to get hungry. So I'll probably grab something, probably some fruit or maybe a couple of hard boiled eggs. Eggs actually sound really good right now, but I'll show you guys what I have soon. Okay, I'm going into Walmart and here's my outfit of the day. Because now it has warmed up, it's like, it's like 62. I think what makes it feel so warm is that the sun is shining. Hey everyone, so we are back from grocery shopping. We just went actually to three different places, did not make it to Trader Joe's, so hopefully I can do that later this week, maybe tomorrow or Monday. I also really need to go to Michael's um, for the art project that I need to do, but, <laughs> maybe tomorrow anyway just made it home it's probably about 5 20 5 30 right now I just did a grocery haul for you guys so hopefully you have had a chance to check that out by now look at these really pretty flowers that is my mother-in-law's like front front porch garden sitting area that's really pretty huh anyway so <laughs> What I'm trying to say is that I'm going to go for a quick run right now and do my one mile run. Um, and then I don't wanna take my phone, so that's why I'm telling you this right now. I also wanted to tell you guys um, to talk like just a minute about the whole, all of that temptation at the funeral. My gosh, it was crazy. I was literally, when we were standing next to the buffet table with all of the tacos and the enchiladas and the brownies, I was having a hard time focusing on the conversation because I wanted that stuff so bad, not to mention the wine. And I was just telling myself, oh my gosh, you are such a food addict. You're, you know, just 
not at the moment I was not telling myself that because I was just wanting that food too bad um, but later I was like that is an episode of a true food addict I wasn't emotional I wasn't celebrating I wasn't um, running to food for any particular reason it was there and I wanted to eat it because I wanted the taste of food in my mouth and I wanted to eat it and enjoy it so I call that being a foodie but when you're standing next to it and I'm trying not to have it and it's like taking over my entire brain I was like dang you're a food addict anyway I feel like so so proud right now that I did not give in to that and I'm gonna have like the most amazing dinner so I know that if I had even had um, it, it's not that I can't have that stuff on Weight Watchers but I hadn't planned for it and that's where the unplanned um, spur of the moment kind of eating is really bad for me because I know if I would have had even one bite of enchilada, one of those tacos, one brownie, it just opens the floodgates. I kid you not. And I would have been all day eating whatever I wanted, points and points and points and points and not cared. Like it's that easy for me to flip the switch between caring and not caring. So I'm super, super glad that I didn't, but I just wanted to talk with you guys about that. I'm sure somebody can relate, right? Help me out here. Yes. Hey everyone, it's seven o'clock and we are on our way out. We are actually going to a gallery showing tonight, but the cool thing is, is that number one, it's in the town that we live in, so it's uh, maybe like one or two miles away from our house. But number two, it's an art gallery showing for Disney television animation artists. How cool is that? These are my peeps, guys. These are my peeps. So we're gonna go and support and see what they have there. Um, are you excited? I'm excited. Do you think you'll see anyone you know? I will probably see a lot of people from work, I would imagine. This is the actual opening tonight, so I would imagine we would see a lot of people. I don't think we'll be there that long, um, so unless they come in like the first hour, we probably wouldn't see them, but I think it's gonna be really cool. I'm very excited for these people. This gallery has been open for how long? At least three to four years, so, right? Maybe longer, so it's a pretty established gallery. Um, so yeah, it's just a really cool opportunity for the artists who are already in an amazing field with an amazing employer, Disney. I mean, they're already doing pretty well, but now it's a great opportunity to showcase maybe some of their work from the shows or maybe they're, um, they have some of their own independent work there. I don't know, but we'll see. I will take some footage for you guys to see. And then after that, we're headed out to dinner. I'm super excited because I'm gonna have a monstrous, super delicious poke bowl at a new restaurant. It's all zero points, hopefully. I looked at the menu, I calculated everything. Everything should be zero points, except there are two side salads that you get with the poke bowl, and those might have dressing. So I'm crossing my fingers. If they do, I may not even get them, or I don't know. It's It might be minimal. So anyway, I'll show you guys that when we get there, but uh, let's go to the gallery. Okay guys, here is the gallery, and it's already looking pretty full. I do not know how they're going to fit all of these people inside. I think they are actually letting everyone in just a few people at a time. But it looks like we might be waiting for a while because the line wraps all the way around the building. Down the side. And of course, it's not warm. So we are all the way at the end. And we got here at 7.10. Apparently 7.10 was too late.
Okay, you guys, once we finally got inside, I think it took like 30 minutes to get inside, but it was so cool. It was totally Disney television animation. Some old, actually mostly old, and a little bit of new stuff. The new stuff was like Tangled, Big Hero 6, Pickle and Peanut, um, all these shows that I actually work on with my attorneys. So it was very, very cool. I took some footage of the actual art itself, which is all copyrighted by Disney. It's okay to do a video though. Um, and the wall where you could pay tribute or say whatever you wanted to say to those specific shows. And then the um, there's actually a gallery room above the actual gallery. So the gallery room above housed the Black Panther um, images. And they actually had a Black Panther signing earlier today. So very busy day for this gallery. So when I was up in the upper gallery with the Black Panther images, that's where I took the photo looking down with all the people. That was really cool. And they had free wine. I never, how can I pass up free wine? <laughs> so I had seven ounces of red wine, which I believe is either six points or five points. So that is going to skew my blue dot day, but I'm okay with that. I'm just still so thankful I did not give in to the tacos and the enchiladas and the wine earlier today because that would have thrown my day off tremendously. The enchiladas probably were really good. He didn't even have any enchiladas. Probably. But he had the tacos and he told me they were cold ah, and not like crispy. Them. So I'm okay do, passing do, on the enchiladas. Do, 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 do. So what did you think of the art duck show? Ducktails, Ducktails. Eddie stop. is a humongous fan of Ducktails. And do you like Darkwing Duck too as uh, much? Or no. Ducktails he loves, and they're totally Screech. bringing back Ducktails in a big way. Disney is focusing hard on Ducktails this year. So there was a lot of like the whole right. Um, side of the gallery was all ducktails, so it was very, very cool. Now we're at the restaurant Aku Pokey, and I'm super excited to have a Pokeball. Mm -hmm.